Europe does need to have a, make a decision about how relevant it wants to be on the international stage. And uh, Gaza and the conflict in Gaza is one of those test cases. And, you know, to be honest, we are all watching and we are all uh, evaluating whether or not uh, Europe has a, uh, has a unified stance towards the principles it espouses or whether it is a purely interest-based uh, and transactional approach. And, you know, we will, going forward, uh, uh, take that into account. So when Operationally, what would that look like from your, in terms of what Riyadh would want from Europe? So in the, in the instance of Gaza, for instance, uh, you, you have the basic principles of international law, international humanitarian law, being violated every day you know, when it comes to something just as simple as humanitarian access. And here it, it would be very easy for Europe to trans... You know, uh, you know, in the context of its desire to focus on humanitarian issues, to at the very least hold Israel accountable when it comes to whether or not it lives up to its responsibilities to allowing the, the civilian population of Gaza to have access to humanitarian, to, to humanitarian needs, and when it doesn't, to actually quite clearly take action. Uh, uh, it doesn't have to be anything drastic, but it could at the very least be an ability to take a position by 27 states to condemn uh, uh, Israel's non-adherence uh, non to its commitments. And then the same goes for the issue of keeping the two-state solution alive. Again, everybody says we believe in the two-state solution. And everybody says uh, that we realize that the only pathway to a sustainable peace in the region is a two-state solution. Yet, when there is consistent and constant undermining of that two-state solution, we do nothing or we give limited statements. So when uh, we see confiscation of additional territories, there is not even a condemnation. When we see uh, actions by uh, settlers and by settler groups that uh, uh, constantly undermine the Palestinian Authority, that are violent attacks against Palestinians and Palestinian civilians, uh, maybe we sanction two individuals, but we do nothing against the government officials behind that. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.